Hello everyone. I recently received a pair of LoRa model samples from eBytes. We will look at the features and how to set it up. The eByte LoRa model is a long-range radio device based on Semtex SX1278RF chip. It supports LoRa spread spectrum technology. It is fast becoming the wireless platform for Internet of Things over long distances. The E32-433T20DT model has a lot of nice features, among which are long distance communication of up to 3 kilometers with a maximum transmission power of 100 milliwatts. Its ultra low power consumption will allow for extended battery life. It supports FEC fault error correction to improve communication stability. The air data rate is between 0.3 kilobyte per second and 19.2 kilobyte per second. It is designed to operate in an environment of minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius for a long time. The model can be configured for fixed point transmission, broadcast transmission, and channel monitoring with a provision for external antenna. Several of its features can be modified with the software RF setting tree. Among the many good uses of the model, Internet of Things application will be considered in subsequent videos. More details on this LoRa model are available in the data sheets via the link in the description. The E32-433T20DT model is a wireless serial port model. It has the URAT RXD and TXD interface pins for connection with a microcontroller or a computer. The power supply to the model's VCC and GND pins should be between 2.3 and 5.5 volts. AUX is an output pin that indicates its working status. The M0 and M1 pins determine the mode of operation of the model. The model is in normal operating mode or mode 0 when both M0 and M1 are connected to GND. In mode 0, the URAT and the wireless channel are opened for continued transparent data transmission and reception. In wake-up mode or mode 1, M0 is connected to VCC and M1 is connected to GND. This operation is like the normal mode but with a preceding wake-up code to awake a receiver in the power saving mode. Only receiver models can operate in the power saving mode or mode 2, which is selected by connecting M0 to GND and M1 to VCC. The model goes into mode 3, or the sleep mode, when both M1 and M2 are connected to VCC. With the TXD pin connected to the RX pin of a USB to TTL converter model, and the RX pin connected to the TX pin, the model's parameters can be configured in mode 3. Plug the USB to TTL converter to your computer and open the eByte RF setting application. Select English and the COM port the model is connected to. Click on Open Port and then Get Param to retrieve the default parameters of the model. From here, the URAT board rate with the microcontroller can be adjusted, which could be different for both the transmitters and receivers. A lower air rate allows for longer transmission distance and stronger anti-jamming performance, but longer transmission time. The air rate should be the same for both transmitters and receivers, having a maximum of 58 bytes at a time. The model is best used with the default power of 20 dBm. If the FEC is disabled, the actual data transmission rate is increased but the anti-interference ability is weakened and the transmission distance will be slightly reduced. When the transmitter is in wake-up mode, 
and the receiver is in power saving mode. The wireless wake up time can be adjusted from here as required. The I.O. mode is used to disable or enable the internal pull-up resistors for TXD, RXD, and AUX. The model address can be any value from 0 to 65535. The channel value can be from 0 to 31, and it determines the operating frequency of the model. The default channel of 23 and the minimum frequency of 410 MHz make the default frequency of the model 433 MHz. The model can operate in fixed transmission mode when enabled or in the default transparent transmission mode. When the fixed mode is disabled and all models have the same address and channel, the model is in transparent mode and can send and receive data to and from each other. With the fixed mode enabled, the model can operate in the fixed point transmission mode when the transmitted data has the address and channel information of the receiver. The fixed transmission broadcast mode is when the transmitted data has an address of 65535 and a channel. Thus, all models with any address and the same channel in the data will receive it. In fixed transmission monitoring, the receiver has an address of 65535 and a channel, allowing it to receive data from all models with any address and the same channel as the receiver. If any of the parameters are adjusted, you can save them to the model by clicking on Set Param then close ports and exit the software. The E32-433T20DT model can also be configured to the desired operating mode by a microcontroller. M0 and M1 pins should be connected to the microcontroller input-output pins. And also the RXD, TXD and UAX pins. Specific commands in hexadecimal formats sent by the microcontroller when the model is in sleep mode can be found in its data sheets. These commands only work with the baud rate of 9600 and 8N1 formats. In the next video on the eByte LoRa model, we will connect it to the remote XY IoT cloud and carry out parameters monitoring and control as required. See you then.